cheese. Slow down. Oh, good. You finally stopped. Hey, that looks like String Cheese's exercise ball. I'm trying to design a logo for Made Wrong's special Earth Day episode. I'm doing an Earth Day project for school, but I can't find my assignment sheet. Have you seen it? Is it a folded up piece of blue paper? Yes. Where is it? Your hamster has it. Bad string cheese. How could you? Uh, give it! Come on! Naughty hammy. Oh, no. The project's due on Monday morning, and I haven't even started. <sighs> if only you had a super cool older sister who could help you in your time of need. Please help me, Kaylee. Fine. Oh! I knew my piles were shrinking. Kevin, watch out! The slightest touch in my junk pile will come crashing down. Remember the last avalanche? Oh, you broke your wheel. And it was just awful. Oh. Took you forever to bring me my tea. Someone's been stealing my gorgeous garbage. But who'd be dumb enough to make an enemy of me? Melvin, you've been guarding this pile night and day. You must know who's been taking my trash. Melvin, you know you've always been my favorite of all the shredders. You are my most trusted and loyal companion. And you'd never lie to me. So please, please tell me who is responsible for this trash pile travesty of justice. Alternatively, you could choose not to tell me. And then we could talk about your new role as a charming bird feeder in my junkyard. <laughs> your trash is our treasure? <laughs> I don't think so. My trash is my treasure. Professor Seymour! Professor Seymour! Oh, oh. I know you're the thief who's been grabbing up my trash treasures. Don't bother to deny it. I do have your treasures. Aha! But I didn't steal it. It was given to me. Ah, uh, what? Wh well, that's impossible. By whom? By Melvin. <gasps> it can't be. Melvin came in looking to find a present for you. Oh, he's still in huge trouble, but go on. He saw us fixing things and wanted to help. He was curious. You see, when we repair this fan, instead of getting a whole new one, it cuts down on waste. You know, I always need recycled scraps for my repairs. If you bring me plastic and metal scraps, I'll give you old magazines and junk mail to snack on. It's a win for everyone. Confetti is cleaner and greener. Melvin has a full, uh, tummy? And Professor Seymour has supplies to make and fix things. <sighs> It is most certainly not a win for me. Mark my words, Seymour. I'll have this ramshackle wreck of a shop shut down. But first, I need to have a little chat with Melvin and find out what his favorite flavor of bird seed is. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it can't be good for Melvin. It would be wise for Melvin to spend some time away from Frivol until she calms down. Don't worry, Uncle Seymour. I know just the place. <laughs> you should have seen Edie's face when she found that hamster chomped assignment sheet. The terror. Last minute projects can be a disaster, but sometimes that rush of adrenaline leads to some truly visionary ideas. Hey, Cammy, what's up? You look uh... worried? Panicked? Freaked out? Uh, yeah. That's because I am. We've got a slight emergency on our hands. Evil Queen Frivol thinks that her prize shredder, Melvin, betrayed her by recycling stuff from her junk pile. Drama! She is none too happy right now. We need to find somewhere to keep Melvin until things calm down. So you want us to brainstorm hiding places and confetti? Not exactly in confetti. Okay, Melvin, here's the deal. In confetti, shredding's bad because it destroys the environment, which is, you know... Paper. Ah. Right, but here, shredding's good because it helps us reuse paper. And if you don't start soon, Jax is going to get super suspicious and we'll have to send you back. Whoa, look at that shredding robot go. Really impressive, but I don't get it. If you made this robot in Reese's garage, why can't you just keep it there? That is a great question. Because her dad's converting the garage into a yoga studio. And robots aren't big on yoga. All right, it can stay. Maybe it can help me with my paper mountain. The only question now is, what are we going to do with all of that paper it shredded? Shredded paper makes the best hamster cage bedding. Use a scale to weigh the paper so you're sure you have the right amount. 
You need about two grams of paper for each cubic inch of the cage. But string cheese likes a fluffy mattress, so we use three grams. Shredded paper also makes paper macheing super easy. And don't forget about how useful shredded paper is for composting. With enough shredded paper, you can do anything. So, we brought you all a little surprise. Voila, our Earth Day episode is up on Made Wrong. The logo's perfect. Here, Melvin, do you want a logo for lunch? <laughs> That's weird, he's always hungry. What's up, buddy? Confetti? You want to go home to confetti? But Queen Frivol and the bird feeder? Oh, good, you're with Melvin. Uncle Seymour made a deal with Queen Frivol. Since Melvin kinda took Frivol's junk without asking, Uncle Seymour is giving it back to her with two conditions. One, she keeps the junk in her own yard and doesn't pollute confetti with it. And two, she promises to be nice to Melvin. Aw, Melvin, did you hear that? And the best part is, Uncle Seymour wants Melvin to work at the fix-it shop and help sort and recycle stuff as it comes in. What do you think, Melvin? Mm -hmm. Ha, 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 ha,